Okay, so last week we started our Heather Galler designs. Um, we're going to finish coloring with crayon and then do the rest with watercolor paint. Um, if all you have is crayon or if you're doing it on your iPad, that's fine too. Um, so I'm gonna take just a minute to color in a couple more areas and then I'll get set up for painting. For students here in class, if you feel like you don't have anything left to color, see what you can color neater or darker. Okay, I've taken a couple of minutes to finish coloring and I've set up for painting. The first thing I'm going to do is go through and put a little bit of water on each color that I know I'm going to use so that my colors get nice and bright. Making sure that I tap my brush on the bottom of the cup every time before I change colors. That'll keep my colors nice and bright and it will keep my paint palette or my paint tray nice and clean. You might first decide what color you're going to do your background and then avoid using that color a whole lot in your flowers. So remember, every time you change colors, tap your brush on the bottom, wipe it on the side of the cup, and paint. You should constantly, constantly be thinking bottom, side, paint. I also want to make sure that I'm using more paint and less water because I want my colors to look nice and bright. And if I have too much liquid in my brush, I can dab it off on my towel. That's what it's there for, and it gets really messy if you have too much paint to work with. Um, remember that I'm painting my flowers and my background because Heather Galler does that often. But if you have time and you want to add some color to your vase and table, go for it. It is up to you how you want yours to look. Okay, this looks good. I'm going to put away everything but my artwork and my water. And remember, all of your supplies go to the quarantine shelf. Then I can take a good photo, submit it into Autodesk, or insert it into Autodesk Sketchbook so that I can use the text tool to put my name on it. Then I will save it to my camera roll. Menu, Share, Save Image, and then I can belly button it over to Canvas and post my work in Canvas. Have fun. Take care.